Well, hello and welcome to Palette. This is a free world adventure game by Yoshitaka Takanishira, and it was made in the 1998. It won a grand prize in the competitions and it was remade for the PlayStation in 2001. So, apparently it was a very cool game back in the time. So, I think I'm going to try it. Um, uh, okay. Why is it that kudos need memories? Biologically, memories are defined as the decision-making tool. Actions are recorded, as many as possible, in an attempt to predict coming events. And thus, to be blunt, they're things only kept around because they may someday serve a use. It reminds me of a good friend of mine who keeps the storeroom filled to the brim with junk. But that's a story for another time. <coughs> However, creators also lose their memories. It is, in fact, the norm that they forget more than they retain. The storeroom is also large, so to speak. And where do these precious... Uh, and when do these forgotten memories go? Precious memory? It can't just be thrown out like trash, can it? Another digression, but my friend, behind his wife's back, has the garbage that will not fit in the storeroom elsewhere. As much as he is scolded to discard his junk, to him it is priceless treasure. He is ingenious in hiding his trash in various places. Memory is similar. Even if thought forgotten, it must remain somewhere. Unbeknownst to even us, it has been cleverly stowed somewhere in the heart. So, hold your breaths, stoop over, and wait. Wait for the day it will be of use. And it will show itself at the most trivial opportunity. What opportunity could that be? I shall leave it for the next squeak's column. Cyanus Vision What? Examinations are over for today. How are you doing, Doctor? Ah, put up the notice in the door then. I'll be done with this in a moment. I'll lock up myself. Get going. You'll be late. Understood. Just dress soon too, doctor. Yes, thank you. Well, goodbye. <coughs> suppose I just... Suppose I just call today. Okay, you're stepping on the table. That's alright. You have a weird name too. Mm, that's alright too. Your clothes are weird. You look like some magician of sorts. But you're a doctor. Oh well, um, painting? A painting I received from a patient. I'm unsure who painted it, but it certainly seems valuable. Okay. Phone. Not going to kill me? That's good. To be honest, a phone call just as I'm getting ready to leave is not the most welcome thing in the world. My world processor. All the manuscripts for my, for my many papers are written here. Central News, the paper boasting the most circulation in the country. I also write a weekly column for it. It's called Concealed Memory. I live for the response. There, now I'm ready to leave. Um, turn off the lights, I guess? 
Oh wait, what's all this trash here? It's nothing. Okay. Whoa. Okay, what's it? What is it? Shion Medical Clinic. Wrong number. Huh? Is this a psychiatrist, Dr. Sianos Vision? I look forward to your column every day, every week, Doctor. Er, uh, what was it called again? Concealed memory. Uh. Well, let's leave that for later. Now for my main question. If you can spare just a little time, I'd like you to... If you want an examination, go through to the reception desk. I am visited by countless people like you every single month. I'm afraid you might be misunderstanding that this is a medical clinic. Not a fortune teller's, not a bar. This is a clinic. It is Janos Vichon's clinic. Examinations begin tomorrow at 10. Come by then and we can talk. I can't make it. No, no, I can't make it. Well, examinations for today are over. I'll ask you to leave. I have the impression you could be more understanding. Don't be alarmed, please. Sometimes this can misfires. You listen, right? To my story? Or rather, hers. Hers? It's from her. You killed my painting. You're a terrible person. Red. Just the color red. Huh? All I remember is the color red. Just the color red. Well, what is she saying? That all she remembers is the color red? Indeed. She's been saying that over and over. All I remember is the color red, again and again. She doesn't remember anything besides a vaguely red memory. That's all? You're not hiding anything from me? Uh. She... She's gone blind. Apparently, she had an accident a year ago. It's been this way, repeating the same thing ever since. I don't know, I swear. All I remember is the color red. Uh. We don't have any time left. Please, bring back all of the memories she had. Uh. What's her name? Huh? Her name? Hers! BD. Those are her initials? No, not exactly. She just calls herself BD. Mm. BD, huh? Loosen your shoulders and relax. I won't be asking many questions. In your heart, try to imagine the things you've seen. Imagine as if you could reach out and touch these things. Imagine as if you can listen close and hear birds chirping. Imagine as if you can breathe in and smell the breeze. Imagine. Imagine very vividly. Something. Now, shall we begin? Yes. This was my room, I think. Very monotone room. Is this me? Red, red clothes. Red 
clothes. I recall it was night, but this red blood? Scene 46? I just begun! What? Uh, uh, okay? What is this? I don't know. That looks like a knife, I guess, but um, I can't touch it. That's not good, I think. Uh, mirror? Oh, so you switch between things. I see. That's useful. Sorta. Bloodstains? It looks pretty damn great to me, but if you say it's blood, I guess you're right. It is a table. You don't say. So what now? I... I can't say I see anything. Say what? Where the hell did that come from? Uh, I don't understand. Oh, that white bar thing. Reset. Again. I died. And it's red. Yeah. My head hurts. <laughs> have to color it back, I guess. I... don't... I think there's something there. Not sure what, but it's there. Okay. Uh... I... I see something here. There? I died. Again. That's a cool thing to do. Just call her back, doctor. I don't really get what am I supposed to do. I guess I have to recover your memories. Um, But I can't even see well the things. Well, B person said something about the game using RPG Maker's 95 ability to change color palette or something. And I'm not sure if this is working alright. I'm really not. Uh, why did I do that again? Uh, hey, mysterious lady. Please, doctor. Okay, no mysterious lady. You killed my pain, though. That's not cool, woman. So, I'm... like... here. Don't see anything. Don't understand anything. It's alright. Let's take a break. Sure. Oh, I recovered my white things. Whatever they're supposed to do. That's one of those. <coughs> Scene 47. Corridor. Okay. What's this? A red stain on the wall. This stain. It's in a certain shape. Yes, it is. It's just like a handprint. Oh. Oh. This again. Ah. More random. <coughs> More random stains, I guess. I don't see them really. Can't talk to you, sir or lady. Shape. Door? 
There is blood on the knob. There was a voice coming through the door. Came to kill. To kill. Her. That's what they said. But they don't know. Who said it? Go through it? Guess no? Can I... Do something? Did you come to kill me, buddy? No? Alright. I... Oh, that's... a thing? Okay, cool. I'm going to mark it on my map. Uh. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh yeah, I'm doing the map. Because... The person said this thing is kinda maze-like, so I should make a map as I go along. And I completely agree about that. Oh, already? Oh well. Okay. I guess I wasn't really paying attention to my bar thing not over here I'm going to run out of movement points I guess um white thing is I'm I don't really understand anything but okay I guess I'll take it Thing. Oh, whatever. Just switch back to normal life. And here I think. Yeah, this place kind of. Yeah. Kill that. This is. Uh. It's a knife. I've seen it before. Somewhere. A gleaming silver knife. Knife shred? Okay. That's nice. I'm gonna get a headache soon though. There we go. But we did something. That's a good thing. I think. Yeah. That's a good thing. I think I have more white things now. No use in there though. Oh wait, I think maybe... That was a terrible idea. Just color again. And... Let's see if this works now. You. Yeah. A knife. When I woke up, there was a knife on the floor. Okay, that worked. Kinda, I guess. Maybe, I hope. I don't know. But it did something, right? Yeah, that's a good thing. I guess. This place. Um. Person. Oh, you're carrying a knife. A person walking with a knife. I can't remember what happened exactly. I think it's a very bad memory. Should be red, actually. This they said it should be like all gray with red shining or something. And 
I see all grey, so I guess that should be red to like be noticed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi. Oh, there was a thing there. I didn't see it. All right, maps. Um. Okay then. Silence. That's nice. Can't move. Now I can move. Good. I thought I broke it for a second. So let's look for things that I can't see. There's none, I think. That's good too. So... There. It's perfect. I have a beautiful map. I should show it to you someday. It's a book, but if you can't see it, then there, there, knife, person, someone came into the room. Apparently, oh, you're the thing that changes things. I can't see that though. That's fine. That's all fine. Don't worry about it. Take a rest. You're about to get a headache again. That's not a good thing. You're still trying to kill someone? That's okay. I have no problems with that. I'm not that sure about what to do now. 